Now admin can see all the pin requests from all users. Now admin want to send the pin to the each user and user has made their pin request. Now when we now when admin will send the pin he need a table in SQL so that all the pin can store in that table. So now we will create a table first. Now we need now we need a need a table that name pin <coughs> and the id and uh, uh, user id it holds this pin and actually the pin no, okay it's pin we can say it's pin list okay a pin here it's and 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 its status and id is int user id varchar pin int status status enumerator type okay now id is int user id varchar 50 because email id almost 50 pin int so we no need to assign her value enumerator type uh, it should be open or close okay <coughs> open or close now by default pin will be open 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 now because when admin will send the pin from here in starting it will be open when user will use this pin it will be closed now it is open and 50 and id auto increment and primary now go save it <coughs> now admin have a table with pin list now all the pin will stored here for every user now admin will click on this send then pin will be set according to the amount okay now go to our editor open view pin request dot php you remember this is our page view pin request dot php and open with pin request php and when admin will click on send so we need to check whether uh, click on send button now now we need to check if is set is set post okay is set post send it means if is set admin click on send button then it will call okay <coughs> now what we can do when admin will click on send we will get user id and amount okay now we need user id my school id real escape string connection post user id and from here or what we need amount okay my SQL real escape string connection post what we amount okay now we have user id and amount so now so now what we need to do we can do oh, we can say number of pin so how many number is i think you remember our binary plan was product that amount was rupees 300 okay so now um, number of pin will be amount upon product amount okay so now if product amount will be repaid 1200 then then number of pin will be generated 4 okay if if amount uh, will be 2000 the number of pin will be okay now if if 21 none, 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 number of pin will be 7 
if it will be 25 if it will be 24 the number of pin will be 8 as it is now it's done now we have user id and amount number of pin now we need a loop in which it will create pin so starting a loop and take a take an initial value i equal to 1 now i should less than or equal to number of pin and this loop will run for each pin okay and every time i plus plus and every time i plus plus now when okay now i will be run now we need a pin so we need to first generate pin so we can create here a function pin generate okay pin generate function so function pin generate pin generate it will generate on pin we can say generated pin equal to random number one one two three four five two one two three okay now it will be generate from this number to the, this number you can increase this number according to your requirement okay now now i have generated the pin request now it will generate the pin now i need to check whether this generated pin is available on this pin list table if it will be uh, if it will available on this table then it will generate uh, another number so we can do query uh, first, first of all we need the connection so make it global global con <coughs> query oh, sorry my query query connection Select ST com pin lead where pin where pin oh, where pin equal to generated pin. If the generated pin is available in our pin list table, then it need to be generated another pin to check if my SQL okay num rows query is greater than zero it means it means it means this pin is already available then we will call again this function okay it okay it will call again this function it will generate again number you can check if again this pin is available it will generate again itself if this pin is not available in the table then it will return the generated pin ok it means this pin is not available in our pin list table and it will be generated to here sorry it will be intended to here now here we can say new pin equal to pin generate now it will give a number of pin if we need to generate three pin then this loop will run three times okay now we have pin now we need to insert this pin to this table now run a query mysql query connection okay insert into pin list what we have in pin list we have user id pin and status user id and pin it's enough 
values user id and pin no it's new pin okay it's done now we have done admin will click on the send button we will get user id and amount from there and we will take the number okay 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 this will come here we will get the number of pin that means how much pin we need to generate and this loop will will work for each pin and it will generate the pin and it go for every time in this function okay 